Hey, bio team. Uh, so one of the questions that evolutionary biologists face is how long it takes speciation to occur. Uh, there's two general speeds at which speciation can occur. Uh, one of them is called gradualism, which is when new species are created uh, over a long period of time at a constant rate. So we'll show an example of this here. Here we've got the ancestral species of horses and zebras. And during gradualism, uh, what you can see happening is that the speciation, that is the divergence of the ancestral species into new species, uh, occurs very gradually over a long period of time. Whereas uh, the opposite form of speciation uh, would be something called punctuated equilibrium, uh, which is when speciation occurs over short periods of time, generally due to some sort of drastic change in the environment. Uh, so to show an example of punctuated equilibrium, here we've got a separate ancestral species. And what you can observe happening in this model of speciation is that there's a long period of equilibrium in which the ancestral species doesn't change much at all. But that equilibrium is punctuated by a very short period of divergence. Okay? That is, speciation uh, into two new species occurs over a relatively short period of time. Uh, and after the speciation occurs, uh, there would be more long periods of equilibrium in which uh, no divergence is occurring. Now, quick note that when we say short period of time, uh, we're putting a disclaimer on this. This is short in geological standards, uh, but still a relatively long time for us humans. This would still be over the course of many generations. So if a biologist wants to determine what type of speciation uh, occurred, they can look at the fossil record. And so for a fossil record of uh, gradualistic evolution, uh, you can see small changes uh, to an ancestral population uh, through the fossil record over time. Whereas a fossil record of punctuated equilibrium will show periods of stasis or periods of lack of change that get punctuated by sudden changes uh, into new phenotypes or into new species. So the reason why this fossil record would show punctuated equilibrium is that these first three layers of fossils uh, would be a stasis period in which uh, there's equilibrium and there's very little evolution occurring to the species. Uh, however, after this third layer, there must have been some event that caused a sudden change in the population that caused this new species to occur and caused speciation. Uh, and then after that change, uh, we return to another period of stasis in which there's little evolution occurring. But that's it. At this point, you guys have some practice problems. Uh, we'll see you next class.